In linguistics, syntax is the set of rules, principles, and processes that govern the structure of sentences in a given language, usually including word order. The term syntax is also used to refer to the study of such principles and processes. The goal of many syntacticians is to discover the syntactic rules common to all languages. In mathematics, syntax refers to the rules governing the notation of mathematical systems, such as formal languages used in logic. See logical syntax Etymology The word syntax comes from ancient Greek, syntax coordination, which consists of sin sin, together, and taxis taxis, an ordering. Topic. Sequencing of subject, verb, and object A basic feature of a language's syntax is the sequence in which the subject s, verb v, and object o usually appear in sentences. Over 85% of languages usually place the subject first, either in the sequence svo or the sequence sov. The other possible sequences are vso, vos, ovs, and osv, the last three of which are rare. Early history Works on grammar were written long before modern syntax came about. In ancient India, the Astadhyayi of Panini c. 4th century BC is often cited as an example of a premodern work that approaches the sophistication of a modern syntactic theory. In the West, the school of thought that came to be known as traditional grammar began with the work of Dionysus Thrax. For centuries, work in syntax was dominated by a framework known as Grammaire Générale, first expounded in 1660 by Antoine Arnauld in a book of the same title. This system took as its basic premise the assumption that language is a direct reflection of thought processes and therefore there is a single, most natural way to express a thought. However, in the 19th century, with the development of historical comparative linguistics, linguists began to realize the sheer diversity of human language and to question fundamental assumptions about the relationship between language and logic. It became apparent that there was no such thing as the most natural way to express a thought, and therefore logic could no longer be relied upon as a basis for studying the structure of language. The Port Royal Grammar modeled the study of syntax upon that of logic. Indeed, large parts of the Port Royal logic were copied or adapted from the Grammaire Generale. Syntactic categories were identified with logical ones, and all sentences were analyzed in terms of subject, copula, predicate. Initially, this view was adopted even by the early comparative linguists such as Franz Bopp. The central role of syntax within theoretical linguistics became clear only in the 20th century, which could reasonably be called the century of syntactic theory. As far as linguistics is concerned, for a detailed and critical survey of the history of syntax in the last two centuries, see the monumental work by Giorgio Graffi. Theories There are a number of theoretical approaches to the discipline of syntax. One school of thought, founded in the works of Derek Bickerton, sees syntax as a branch of biology, since it conceives of syntax as the study of linguistic knowledge as embodied in the human mind. Other linguists e Gerald Gazdar, take a more Platonistic view, since they regard syntax to be the study of an abstract formal system. Yet others e Joseph Greenberg, consider syntax a taxonomical device to reach broad generalizations across languages. Topic. Generative grammar The hypothesis of generative grammar is that language is a structure of the human mind. The goal of generative grammar is to make a complete model of this inner language known as I-language. This model could be used to describe all human language and to predict the grammaticality of any given utterance that is, to predict whether the utterance would sound correct to native speakers of the language. This approach to language was pioneered by Noam Chomsky. Most generative theories although not all of them assume that syntax is based upon the constituent structure of sentences. Generative grammars are among the theories that focus primarily on the form of a sentence, rather than its communicative function. Among the many generative theories of linguistics, the Chomskyan theories are Transformational grammar TG, original theory of generative syntax laid out by Chomsky in Syntactic Structures in 1957 
Government and Binding Theory GB, revised theory in the tradition of TG developed mainly by Chomsky in the 1970s and 1980s. Minimalist Program MP, a reworking of the theory out of the GB framework published by Chomsky in 1995 Other theories that find their origin in the generative paradigm are Arc pair grammar Generalized phrase structure grammar GPSG, now largely out of date Generative semantics superseded by semantic syntax Head-driven phrase structure grammar HPSG Lexical functional grammar LFG Nanosyntax Relational grammar RG now largely out of date Topic Dependency grammar Dependency grammar is an approach to sentence structure where syntactic units are arranged according to the dependency relation, as opposed to the constituency relation of phrase structure grammars. Dependencies are directed links between words. The finite verb is seen as the root of all clause structure and all the other words in the clause are either directly or indirectly dependent on this root. Some prominent dependency-based theories of syntax are Recursive categorical syntax, or algebraic syntax Functional generative description Meaning text theory Operator grammar Word grammar Lucian Tessnier is widely seen as the father of modern dependency-based theories of syntax and grammar. He argued vehemently against the binary division of the clause into subject and predicate that is associated with the grammars of his day and which remains at the core of most phrase structure grammars. In the place of this division, he positioned the verb as the root of all clause structure. Topic. Categorial grammar Categorial grammar is an approach that attributes the syntactic structure not to rules of grammar, but to the properties of the syntactic categories themselves. For example, rather than asserting that sentences are constructed by a rule that combines a noun phrase NP and a verb phrase VP e.g., the phrase structure rule SNPVP, in categorial grammar, such principles are embedded in the category of the head word itself. So the syntactic category for an intransitive verb is a complex formula representing the fact that the verb acts as a function word requiring an NP as an input and produces a sentence-level structure as an output. This complex category is notated as NP -S instead of VNP -S as read as a category that searches to the left indicated by for an NP the element on the left and outputs a sentence the element on the right. The category of transitive verb is defined as an element that requires two NPs its subject and its direct object to form a sentence. This is notated as NP, NP -S, which means a category that searches to the right indicated by, for an NP the object, and generates a function equivalent to the VP which is NP -S, which in turn represents a function that searches to the left for an NP and produces a sentence. Tree adjoining grammar is a categorial grammar that adds in partial tree structures to the categories. Topic. Stochastic, probabilistic grammars, network theories Theoretical approaches to syntax that are based upon probability theory are known as stochastic grammars. One common implementation of such an approach makes use of a neural network or connectionism. Topic. Functionalist grammars Functionalist theories, although focused upon form, are driven by explanation based upon the function of a sentence i.e., its communicative function. Some typical functionalist theories include Cognitive grammar Construction grammar CXG, Emergent grammar Functional discourse grammar DIC, Proglinguistic circle Role and reference grammar RRG, Systemic functional grammar Topic. See also Topic. Syntactic terms Topic. Notes Topic. References Brown, Keith, Miller, Jim, eds. 1996. Concise Encyclopedia of Syntactic Theories. 
New York, Elsevier Science. ISBN 0 08 one Carney, Andrew. 2006. Syntax: A Generative Introduction, Second Ed. Oxford: Wiley Blackwell. ISBN 1-4051-3384-8. Frieden, Robert, Lasnik, Howard, eds. 2006. Syntax: Critical Concepts in Linguistics. New York: Routledge. ISBN 0-415-24672-5. Graffi, Giorgio 2001. 200 Years of Syntax. A Critical Survey. Studies in the History of the Language Sciences 98. Amsterdam, Benjamins. ISBN 90-272-4587-8. Talasevich, Mishko 2009. Philosophy of Syntax. Foundational Topics. Springer. ISBN 978-90-481-3287-4. An Interdisciplinary Essay on the Interplay Between Logic and Linguistics on Syntactic Theories. Tessnier, Lucien 1969. Element de Syntax Structural. Second Edition. Paris, Klinkseek. Topic. Further reading Martin Everard, Henk van Riemsdijk, Rob Godemans, Bart Hollebrunsa, eds. 2006. The Blackwell Companion to Syntax. Blackwell. ISBN 978-1-4051-1485-1. Five volumes, 77 case studies of syntactic phenomena. ISAC, Daniela, Charles Rees I-Language, An Introduction to Linguistics as Cognitive Science, Second Edition. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0199660179. Moravchik, Edith A. 2006. An Introduction to Syntax, Fundamentals of Syntactic Analysis. Continuum International Publishing Group. ISBN 978-0-8264-8945-6. Attempts to be a theory-neutral introduction. The Companion Edith A. Moravchik. 2006. An Introduction to Syntactic Theory. Continuum International Publishing Group. ISBN 978-0-8264-8943-2, surveys the major theories. Jointly reviewed in the Canadian Journal of Linguistics 54 1, March 2009, pp. 172-175 Muller, Stefan Grammatical Theory, From Transformational Grammar to Constraint-Based Approaches. Berlin, Language Science Press. ISBN 978-3-944675-21-3. Brian Rourke, Richard William Sprout 2007. Computational Approaches to Morphology and Syntax. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-927477-2, Part 2, Computational Approaches to Syntax. Topic external links The Syntax of Natural Language, an online introduction using the TREES program, Beatrice Santorini and Anthony Kroc, University of Pennsylvania, 2007.